Hank Tester, he's at Miami Dade Election Headquarters, where the election canvassing board will meet tomorrow. Hank? Elliot, there's no workers here tonight because apparently they've got this pretty much uh, wrapped up. They've got their numbers, and on Saturday they will submit them to the uh, state election department. Of course, the question here tonight is are they going to be participating in a potential recount? Let's take a look. Just when you thought it was over, it's not. The Miami-Dade Elections Department, along with the Elections Department statewide, likely to be involved in recounts in two, if not three, statewide races. This from Miami-Dade Elections Department. Our results are online tomorrow, Thursday. The canvassing board meets to review provision ballots at 4 p.m. Unofficial results for all counties are due to the state on Saturday, November 10th at noon. Florida law requires a margin of victory to be equal or less than 0.5% of total votes. Otherwise, a machine recount is ordered. A machine recount that in some counties will take only a couple of hours. Uh, in counties like Miami-Dade, it will probably take 48 hours running the machines nonstop. But if the margin is equal or less than 0.25%, the Miami-Dade Elections Department will be in for a manual recount, like all state elections department, and that could take days. And this is where the canvassing boards will certainly be involved and count these essentially one by one. The Miami-Dade Canvassing Board only evaluates ballots that are undervoted or not fully complete or overvotes when a voter casts a ballot for more than one candidate. So are we back in the days of the hanging chads and weeks of recount strife? Probably not. We have the best ballot uh, that we've ever had. The, the bubble in uh, electronic scan ballot is the, the most efficient we've ever had. Well, remember back oh, several years ago, Miami-Dade had that uh, punch screens and there was no paper trail. Well, they reinstituted paper ballots here. Makes it a lot easier for canvassers to look at it and try and determine exactly what the intent of the voter was. This is going to be an ongoing story, so get ready. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News tonight.